Welcome to Electron Online. First of all, we may want to answer the question, why do we even need to learn how to factor? Is this just some strange thing in algebra? But it turns out not at all. Factoring is used in so many applications in mathematics and science. We use it all the time, everywhere. It's just a good thing to learn. So it's not at all a waste of time, especially if you're going to go on and do additional studies in science, mathematics, engineering, or anything like that. Knowing how to factor becomes a very important thing. So what do we do when we have something like this? Again, first what we want to do is see if there's any common factors. And it turns out x cubed is a common factor among both of those terms. So we can factor out an x cubed, x cubed times, and what's remaining is an x squared minus 1. Then we need to look at that x squared minus 1 and determine, well, is that a special form that we need to know about? It turns out it's actually the difference of squares. So this can actually be thought of as x cubed times x squared minus 1 squared. So once you see that, then you go, ah, I know how to factor this one. This then becomes x cubed times x plus 1 times x minus 1. When we multiply this together, we get back the original amount. So we can go ahead and say that is the factored form of our original problem. And that's how it's done.